Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Pulse Crescent's Varsity Roundtable, a weekly look at high school sports in the Fox Valley area and the only live online high school sports talk show in the state. I'm Ricardo Arguello, part of the USA Today Network Wisconsin digital live stream team. And we are here in an amazing high definition at the mothership, the Pulse Crescent, 306 West Washington Street, downtown Appleton. And this week our focus shifts to softball. And not only do we have two representatives from one of the top teams in our area, but from the number one ranked team in the street in the state, from Oshkosh North. <laughs> That's right. Wasn't planned at all. Oshkosh North Softball. We have two representatives again, farthest over to, over to my right. We have Libby Nevue. Libby, there you go. And Sid Supley. Yes. Yes, that's right. Uh, so both ladies are on hand to talk about the great season that they've been having. Can't wait to hear these numbers I'm going to throw at you. But not only that, we have a special guest as well. And we need you to put the camera on you, Molly. So you have to, you have to turn it around. Yeah, put it. Yeah, you got to put it on your mug. There we go. Molly Bittner is officially doing Molly Camp. So let's give her a and her and Molly's job is very important. This is what this is what your job is. Every time I say Molly Cam, you gotta boom, you gotta put it on your girls. You gotta put it go left, you gotta pan left and right. All right? There you go. Make sure you get it on your girls. Or if we need to point someone out for any specific reason, you also have to do that too. Make sure you get it on them and nice and close. We wanna see high definition. You know, all that, all that stuff. Okay, good stuff. But uh, we are an interactive show, so if you have any questions, I know you do, uh, log into that live chat. Give yourself a name. No, both, you know, both Sid and Libby, they want to know who's asking these questions, all right? Got Brett over there behind the Dell computer getting those questions over to us right away. Jim Rosendick, he's wearing shorts already, and uh, he's helping uh, keep it, everything is <laughs> on the, you know, doing all the things, the technical stuff that I have nothing to do with, but uh, he's keeping it straight on there. But like I do before every show, did you guys have prom already? No, this You weekend. didn't? Well, too bad, guys, because you can't ask for any numbers or anything like that. We're not that kind of show, so keep it on softball and we'll do just fine. Okay, let's get some introductions. Now, both of you ladies have actually been on the show, but let's do some introductions again anyway. So farthest over to my right, again, is Libby Nebu. Libby, go ahead. Let This is when I want you to look at the middle camera. Okay. Let everyone know the position or positions you play and how you got into softball. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Libby Nebu. I play third base, and I got into softball because I wanted to be like my cousin Lauren growing up, and she oh. always played. Okay, great. Go ahead, Sid. Hi, I'm Sydney Supley, and I'm a pitcher, and I got into softball because my sister played college softball. Okay, great stuff. Again, if you have any questions out there, uh, you know, get them to us right away, and they can't wait to answer these questions. Now, I already have, Molly, I already need you to do something here. We're not getting to this yet. We want to get to the food. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to try to reach over. <laughs> they brought me food. Now, listen, if you guys listen to the R&B Show podcast, which you all should do and have downloaded onto your phone as a, as a subscriber. I merely mentioned, I was just kidding. I said, you know, bring some food for, and they brought me food. Can you believe this? It's the last thing I need, really. But thank you so much out there. I think, was it your mom? Yes. So thank you so much, Heidi. I appreciate this. And uh, this really ups the game for everyone. So everyone out there, this is the base. This is the base <laughs> level I need in terms of accommodations from every team from the rest of the way out, all right? So thank you so much. You ladies are the best. You're my favorite Oshkosh North team. I'll tell you that right now. Forget about the boys' basketball team, right? Oh, well, I'll share. Maybe. All right, so here we go. What I want to do, and i got to do this, okay? we got to start a little negative. Because I know everyone here in this office, I remember I was covering something. I came back from last year's. What, what happened? What happened? Because we were all shocked. We were like, no way. That had to have been someone's messing with us. It's a real late April Fool's. What happened last year in the tournament? Because I know you ladies were playing so well, and then that one in a million thing happened. Sid, what happened? You know, I think it was a perfect example of any team can win on any, yeah. any given day. And it was a really hard lesson for us all to learn, but we learned it now, and all we can do is move forward and grow from it, which we have, and be more prepared for next time. I think it made our team even stronger than okay. before. Move forward, and let's be honest, puts a chip on your shoulder, yes. right? Oh, or, yeah. Or anything to add to that, Libby? Well, we definitely use it as a learning opportunity because we never want to feel like that again because it was so hard. Mm -hmm. So we just use all those moments that we had during that game to learn from. Okay. If, you, if anyone forgot they're living under a rock, they actually got upset by, was it Fond du Lac, I think, mm -hmm. who yes. knocked you guys off? A team I think you guys had really beaten mm -hmm. pretty well yeah. the, the first couple times. But this is a new year. Let me, let me run off some stats here. These, these are pretty incredible that I'm going to run off right now because you, you ladies are off to a great start. First off, they're 15-0, and 0, number one ranked, all that stuff. We knew that coming in, you ladies are going to be great. But this is how great they are. First, Sid, you have 13 wins, and you just pitched a perfect game. Thank right? You. How mm -hmm. many? How many? Is, is that your first ever, or how many have you had? Uh, that's my second in high okay. school. Okay. All right. Incredible. We're. This is where I need you, Molly. We'll get it on Brooke Elstad. Yeah. 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 Listen here, Brad. You couldn't even do this in a video game of softball. <laughs> She's batting over 700. 
Now, I don't, I have, I'm from, you know, I went to UW Milwaukee and my math's not real good, but that's like seven out of 10, <laughs> you hit, you get hits, right? So that's incredible. And, and, and she's obviously embarrassed a little bit because she's on Molly Cam, all right, sorry <laughs> about that. But that is incredible. I've never seen anyone with that high of an average. Believe me, we've had some great players come mm -hmm. through here, but that's incredible. And keep it over here because um, a girl here, she has, what, what, what officially is this called? This is our dinger bucket. Okay. <laughs> so if open you open it up, it inside, open it up. Folks, they have 27 home runs already in 15 games. Yes. Look at that. And every home run goes into the Dinger bucket. <laughs> that is incredible. An incredible amount of home runs. And we actually have a surprise in the bucket. Okay, what's that? What's that? So we have a Dinger ball because we know you would hit a home run. Oh, I would, of <laughs> course. I hit several back in the day. Oh, Not in softball and baseball. It's for you to add to our bucket. Oh, I will do this, actually. You want me to do this now? You want me yeah. to sign this? Mm -hmm. Oh, you right. love this, Ricardo. I do love this. <laughs> I do. Oh, look at this. Can you get it on this, Molly? It says, to Ricardo from Oshkosh North Softball. You got it on there? Rosie, you got it? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Oshkosh North up in the game for everyone. I expect <laughs> this very least from every other team <laughs> that come on the show. All right, and I will sign it. Where do you want me to sign that? Ah, uh, right there. That's okay, all right. First off, I'm left-handed, so I got to make sure I got to do this right here. All right, so here we go. Oh. I got the doctor's <laughs> signature and I'm not a doctor. All right, so you got on there, Molly? All right, so there you go. Thank you so much. You ladies are amazing. Do I get to keep this? Or you can add it to the bucket. I'll add it to the bucket. Yeah. And then 28, after, 28 right 28, now. 28, and after you win the state championship, we'll have to take a picture with this. All right. Perfect. That's going to be good luck. I know you ladies are going to do it, but thank you so much. But still, Brett, 27 home runs. I, I'm, again, I'm not a mathematician. That's almost two a game. Am I right? So that's incredible. Before we get to your question, are you guys even exceeding your expectations of how well you're playing this year, Sid? You know, our first practice, we set expectations and goals of how we we're going to reach them, and okay. we made them incredibly high. But even then, I think we're still always have room for improvement, but we're definitely hitting all of our goals right now. Uh, this has to please you, Libby, that you yeah. ladies have not taken your foot off the gas. Mm -hmm. You came in from game one. Again, we're talking about the chip on your shoulder from mm -hmm. last year. Do you feel like you ladies are getting it done and, and this kind of focus is going to carry out the rest yeah, of the season? Yeah, we're definitely really focused and we can hit one through nine. Any one of us can hit and we have great depth this year coming off the bench. So okay. we're just carrying a lot of energy with us, which okay. is great. Molly Cam, get it on your girls. Wake up there. All right. There we go. Pan over to your left. There you go. All right. Good stuff. Brett, you have something from online, potentially well, billions watching. What was watching. that called, a d dinger bucket? Yeah. Uh, we do have a, a question about home runs from Joe Fox, who has hit the longest dinger all oh. season. Oh, oh, Libby, okay, nice first off, where, where, where was this, Libby, that this happened? I don't know. This was our home well, field? Yeah, there was a good one this year. Okay. I hit it on the baseball field. Well, okay. I don't know, some say it was baseball field, some say it was a little short. Oh, so. wow, so it, it reached EJ? Yes. Yeah. Which oh. is opposite it was Apple. field. Yes, it is, actually. So, so what, you hit that off opposite field? Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. you've been to EJ Schneider mm -hmm. Field, haven't you? Wow, okay, interesting, very good. Let's, let's, good. Just, let's just call it 350 feet. <laughs> right? Let, I'm, I'm, I'm probably <laughs> rounding down, but it's probably 350 yeah. feet. So, all right, Brett, did you have something else? Well, is there another bucket available when you fill that bucket? Is that oh, yeah, of course. There we go. You've got there one already? Go. There will be many more buckets. Okay. Okay. <laughs> awesome stuff. So, again, here with Oshkosh North softball players Libby Nebu and Sid Supley? Yes. There we go. Have any questions, please log in the live chat. And actually, I forgot to mention this. If any of you ladies have a question, Molly Cam will get it on you. And you'll be, ask, you'll be able to you know, ask any questions that you might have. So, Brett, did you have something else? Yeah, uh, Tegan Patton wants to know uh, <laughs> okay. what has been your biggest achievement so far this season. Biggest achievement so far this season. Now, we'll start with Sid on this one. I would say it was our game in Florida. And it was our last game we played. We were playing the... Um, previous okay. state champs Whoa, of Florida. Okay. And they were really talented. Their leadoff hitter is going to Florida, actually. Okay. And it was kind of under the lights, totally on what, like a late night Texas football field. Wow, where okay. There was pickup trucks lining the outfield. <laughs> great crowd. Right. It was a great yeah. environment. And it was actually our only game this season that we've been down. And we had a crazy comeback and end up beating a really good team. That kind of, you know, set the mark of really what we were capable of this year. Wow, Texas, that sounds like some sort of show, like it was a awesome. Blues yeah. kind of thing going on. Is that also what yeah, you Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Well? Yeah. Okay. It was so cool, and we like all rallied together at the end. They had great pitching, and we just started hitting it, so mm -hmm. it was okay. fantastic. Awesome stuff. Again, here with Oshkosh, North Softball players, top ranked in the state, by the way, for softball, Libby Nebu and Sid Supley, as well as, well, let me see, Molly Bittner. Turn it on yourself. Come on, give yourself some love. <laughs> you got to do this. This is part of the job. Get it on there. You're all right. Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> A little too comfortable with it on yourself. 
All right, Brett, you have something else yes, on the line? Stucco guy, this is a great segue or piggybacking off of uh, what Sid said, but how did the Florida trip help the team? How did it help the team? Can you pinpoint a couple tangible things mm -hmm. with that we would say, Sid? I thought it was awesome for our team chemistry. Okay. We had girls coming back. We had a new freshman to the crowd. And, you know, really it just made our team even closer together. And awesome. especially because we have a new coach this season. Okay. So he got to live with all of us for a week. Okay. So, so it was seven days. Yeah. Five, six, seven days. We thing. became close. Okay. Great stuff. <laughs> Libby. Uh, yeah, Florida was amazing. We got to stay in a big beach house. Oh, wow. Yeah, spent okay. some time on the beach. Well, where we were the games at? Um, or like, where, where would you guys stay? Oh, Florida? Pensacola Beach, Florida. Oh, Pensacola, mm -hmm. okay, yep. all right. So mm -hmm. how, how, how cool was that? Anything you wanted to add? Uh, yeah, it was amazing, okay. all around. <laughs> now, you mentioned a freshman. Can you get it on? Yeah, Let's yeah. Get it on. that's a girl. Oh, there she is. Okay, what's her name? Ashley Borowitz. Ash Ashley Borowitz. She will be so taking well. over the mound next okay, year. Okay, all right. Yeah. Cool stuff. Brett, did you have something else? I do. Life? Lauren Ray wants to know, what is the most memorable moment of the season so far? Most memorable moment. Everybody's saying, oh, to Libby does That's my cousin. That's why. Okay. Here you go. Yeah. Last night. What? Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Mine would be last night. We did a fundraiser for my cousin Owen okay. to get him a seizure dog. So okay. It was well, really great. cool. So I got to go on the radio for it and talk about it. And he came to the game, did the first pitch. Okay. So. That's fantastic. That was special great to news. me. All right. Yeah. How about for you, Sid? Uh, last night was really amazing because it was just something, it was so much bigger than softball. Mm -hmm. And just to see, because we actually did it when we played West, to see right. all of Oshkosh come together, we raised over $5,000, which was really incredible for an amazing cause. That is amazing. You guys always do well with that, by the way, the fundraising and everything like that. Brett, did you have something it's else? It's amazing how the chat is following what they're talking okay. about because Coach Chase uh, wants to know. <gasps> Let them say their awes here. Okay. I know the girls do a lot of philanthrop uh, philanthropic work off the softball field. I like to know what's the greatest reward of giving back to your community. There you go. That is a mm -hmm. deep question. Wow. I love this question. Does something come to mind for you, Libby, right away? I, I just like just seeing how the community benefits and everyone benefits from okay. the hard work we put in. Just okay. and how like year after year it's still benefiting them. Okay, great stuff. How about for you, Sid? I just recently raised over $90,000, so my yeah. ball field should be done this spring. Yes. And I'm hoping for us to be able to play one game, but just to come back and watch future generations be able to play on it is something that I'll forever cherish. That's outstanding. Outstanding stuff that's being set up here. And actually, that kind of leads into my question because, you know, we're talking about the North program. You've been to state, obviously, recently. Everyone knows you're number one ranked. But how's the youth program doing? It's not just you ladies this year. You got your freshmen over here chilling. <laughs> but then you got some other players coming up. Uh, you want to keep the program at a high level, and that's mm -hmm. always the mark of a successful program. What's the youth program like? Are you ladies are you interacting with younger mm -hmm. players? How does that go? We'll go, we'll go with Sid here, quick. Throughout the entire last two years and during the winter mm -hmm. season, both uh, Libby and Sophie and Noel. You got it on them? Got it on them? Yes. Yeah. Ashley. All right. And Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. Okay. So pretty much the pitchers and catchers, we all get together with the youth pitchers and okay. catchers once a week and we work with them and really what you said, we're trying to go for the future because North Strong now, we want to continue for it to be strong for okay. years to come. Outstanding. Anything to add to that, Libby? We just have a, um, a few young teams that are going to be really good coming up and they've been staying together for the past couple of years so they're growing their chemistry and then okay. working in the off season and working right now. Okay, outstanding here with Oshkosh North softball players Libby Nebu, Sydney Soupli. Did I say that right? Yes, Soupli. you did. Yes. And hey, don't forget about Molly Cam over there, Molly Binner. Again, yeah, yeah, you got to put on yourself now one more time. <laughs> yes, yes. One more time. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> right. There you go. Uh, Brett, did you have something else? Yes, I do. Ethan Tesmer. <laughs> what is the main team goal for this season? And Mrs. T says hi. Oh. Okay, so there you go. Main goal. What would it be? I mean, is, is it the obvious? Is it is it to bring home the goal, yeah. Libby? Yeah, okay. for sure. <laughs> okay, all right. They're very, they're very focused. Clear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to add to that? Sir? Yeah, without a doubt, we, you know, we want the state championship. We want to bring it back for the first time for North. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, too, I just want to enjoy every moment I have left here at North and with these girls because we truly are a family, and I love every single one of them. Okay, great stuff. You know, my next question here, and, and the spring weather has been kind of really weird again. Mm -hmm. So that where the, the your, your Florida trip really comes in nice yeah. uh, there, but uh, how, how do you guys stay focused again with cancellations and such? You never know if that's going to mm -hmm. be coming. Out. I, I guess there's snow slated for this Sunday mm -hmm. or something. Uh, how do you ladies stay focused, uh, Libby? If you want to. Well, on. luckily we've only had one cancellation, okay. and we already made the game up. Oh wow! So okay. we've been blessed with that. Um, but we've had some cold games, but hasn't really held us back too much. Is that a little overrated? Are we making too much of this? Is this media folks making? 
too much of it. So yeah, we we're are. tough. We can play yeah. in the cold. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, good stuff. Uh, Brett, did you have something from online? Let's keep going. Lauren Ray again. Uh, what are you doing to soak up the final season and moments many of you have to take the field together? So mm -hmm. kind of this is this is it for you guys. For some yeah, time. boy, that, that's that's a deep. Are question. you relishing it? Yes. How much yeah. are you? Because uh, you're both our seniors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So anything come to mind? Sid, you want to start? Just what are you taking yeah. away from this? I think it's not taking anything for granted. I mean, even the little moments of the bus rides, practices, I'm not wishing a moment away. I'm just kind of mm -hmm. trying to stay in the present and enjoy our time together. And like moments even like this, the car rides yeah. up. I just want to remember it all. All right, good yeah. stuff. Really? This is like. <laughs> 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 just like living in the moment and yeah. knowing every moment matters and, yeah. and taking a lot of photos and a lot of videos yeah. look back on. Oh, yeah, we've been doing some vlogs. <laughs> right, I get a little emotional over here getting on her. Come on, Molly, getting on her. Aww. This is great. This is this is this is what I want to see. We went yeah. it's a team aspect. Everything's shared here. Brett, mm -hmm. do you have something else? No, I'm crying. Uh, oh, right. Jay and Heidi want to know what hey. will you miss most about high school softball? Yeah. Um, you know, it, <sighs> Not, not to belabor the point here, but I mean, you, know, you only have what a month and a half yeah. or, or so, maybe on that. I mean, it's over quick. Spring goes like that. So yeah. So Brett, what was that question again? Specifically, just what are you gonna? What will you miss most about high school? What will you miss about <laughs> my best friend? Oh, here we go. See, this is what it's all about. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you get it on your girls. I don't think Mo Molly's getting emotional. Yeah, on the <laughs> yeah I, I think. Um, We've been playing together our whole lives, you know. Right. Every moment we've been, we've been through the highs and lows. I mean, if anyone's followed our career for four mm -hmm. years, it's not always been easy going. Okay. And it's, you know, we've really had each other through it all. So I'm probably what I'm going to miss most of my high school career is playing alongside my best friend. I know, yeah. and I know you agree with that. Yeah. As well. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I know. I forgot to bring in the box. So, so but that's good stuff. Um, let, let's quickly switch subjects here because I don't want anyone to get too emotional. You know, this was something I heard you lay discussing before. Was there a position that you wanted to play that you currently don't play now? Obviously, Sid, we all know you're in the circle. Yes. But did you ever want to catch? Did you ever want to play first base or shortstop or, or, or anything else different? I want to be in the mound every game. Okay. But I would say first base. That's where I love to play if I'm not. Okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. Libby? Um, I played, like, all of the infield besides pitcher. Okay. And I've caught, but you know, outfield would be fun. I'm not okay. the greatest, but I think you know, like selling out for a big play would be pretty cool. Throwing like yourself out there. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Just you you. Well, I thought it was incorrect or wrong or looked down upon to call it the mound. I thought it was supposed to be the circle. Yeah. Well, not that it matters, but some people are very particular about you, it. I thought got I got yelled at. Yeah. Somebody, somebody oh. yelled at me for saying on the mound. It's, it, it's in the circle. I won't name mention so the coach, ask, but it's, she's from the area. The pitcher huh? here. Yeah, but you, you don't mind calling it on the mound. No, I, I think I'm a pretty easygoing pitcher. Okay. So Coach was very particular. Was, yeah, I remember that. Really <laughs> relax. That didn't make it better, by the way, when I told her to relax. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, no, you never tell a woman that. Don't ever relax. But uh, you have something else, Brett? I'll say this. Uh, this is from Madison for Aunt Sydney. Oh, oh wow. She loves you so. And uh, why do you love softball so much? That oh, deep both. question yeah. here. Why do you love softball so much? And Libby, you will, you will answer this one okay. as well. Oh, are you starting? Yeah, oh. said it's you. Yeah. Oh, hi Madison, first of all. Uh, I love softball, I think because it's, I love being a part of a team, most importantly, and it's kind of, especially being a pitcher, it's kind of an individual sport within the team. Yes, but yes. I love that you're like never out of the game. You know, there's no clock. It can go all the way down to the seventh inning and you can make a comeback. And I love all the mental sides within the okay. game. Okay, yeah, very good. Let me yeah, I'm with her. I love the team atmosphere and then the feeling when you, Hit the ball right on the barrel. There you go. <laughs> and the bucket will happens attack. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Molly Cam, get it on your girls, Molly. Yeah, Molly. Yeah, Molly. Oh, Here we go. Good stuff. Uh, Brett, did you have something else? I do you? have uh, a couple of quick comments. Uh, Principal Kiff Meyer says, "I am hey. so proud of all of you. Keep mm -hmm. it going, girls." And Bryn Hartzell says, "You are all so great. Keep up the great work, both on and off the field and in the classroom." Aww. Before oh, that's fantastic. Before we get to our halftime. <laughs> Uh, Coach Ken Dishler, am I saying that right? Yes. Yep. What can you tell me about him? Obviously, taking over uh, first mm -hmm. year this year. Uh, anything to my first up? You know how I am. I want to know some quirks, something <laughs> weird things he does. That's always that's always what I want to know. So what can you tell me about him? Uh, and there's some laughter going on. So we well, got something. He took us all out to breakfast, which is amazing. Yeah, that's like, amazing. Individually, 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 he took us out to breakfast, okay. and he drinks hot water. <laughs> I have nothing against that though, because my mom drinks hot water. Is that is that? 
Why? Why is that? Is that supposed to like you're not using as much energy? I don't know. My mom something? likes it. I don't like it. That is very interesting. But that's yeah. That's okay. Uh, for for you, Sid. Yeah, I mean. I think he's been great since he's come in. He really recognized our high goals and he yes. set the same thing for himself. He's really big into visualization. Okay. So we spent a lot of time like picturing pitches coming in. So that's probably like the biggest mm. difference from last year and thing okay. we've incorporated in our game. Okay, interesting. Good mm -hmm. stuff. All right. Uh, Brett, did you have something here before <laughs> we go to our... This is quite the range of emotions. Yes, it is. We're going high, happy, low, crying, sad, <laughs> yeah, happy. It's like a roller coaster. I made six flags. I can't <laughs> handle it. I got Coach Chase. Okay. Uh, Sid, what was the best part about meeting Aaron Rodgers? That was last oh, year. Oh, that's yes. right. That's and true. Sid, Libby, Soph, and Brooke. Am I saying <laughs> so. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, what one question can you not wait to ask Michael Phelps, who's our special yes. guest? Yes. Right. Two so first off, what was it like meeting uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers? And also, with the first question that you'll ask Mr. Phelps. Mm. Well, last year when I met Aaron Rodgers and I was able to talk to him backstage, yeah. he went uh, in for the handshake and I went in for the hug. Oh, so, yeah. and he was, oh, yeah. there we so go. We got was, a hug. This, was this photograph too? Yes, it was. I have a picture. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Retweet that so I can retweet that out. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> she gave him the one on the old. Yeah. All right. Okay. And what about for Phelps? Yeah. Mm. Um, I even thought you, know, you know, he swims and stuff. He's like, oh, he has like a belt and won a bunch of medals. He's yeah. really good, yeah. He's yeah. really good. I'd maybe ask him what his favorite Olympics is or memories from the okay. Olympics. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you going to do the same thing, little? Oh, of course. Yes. All right. <laughs> I like that move. All right, good stuff. You have something else? Well, I just submitted the questions for Michael today. So oh, that's right. Brett will be having an interview with him one on one. So good. You want me to keep going? Yeah, we have one more, and then we'll go to our half. Well, quick. Coach Chase, again, how cool is it that four of the eight softball <laughs> player of the year nominees? Yes comes from the Oshkosh North softball. And uh, full disclosure, right, Brett, were you among, you're, you, me, and Mike, we went we went to a site uh, that no one knows, and we kind of hammered out who, who are going to be the nominees. There's no way we could not have all four on there. The we, way, did, we, we did. We crunched the numbers. We looked at everything. We're like, it's just the way it's coming out. we did out. come They're, up as like, can we really have four from the same team? And then we said, yeah, they're really good. And yeah. So I mean, we're having four from the same and team. And we, we just read off the numbers. I mean, it's, it's easy <laughs> peasy. It's right there. Right? So there you go. I mean, yeah. So what do you think about that? Half the not the eight nominees are Oshkosh North mm -hmm. players. It's pretty cool, but couldn't have done it without my teammates yeah. okay. inside me. So. All right, Sid. I think it speaks volumes, you know, from just what our program is about and what our team and really the depth. I mean, we're one through four, and it's so tough. We're yeah. all in the same lineup, but we actually were all together when we found out. So that was pretty yeah. cool. And I, for me, I think of the best players in the state. I think of all my. Team. Teammates, so okay. it was no surprise. And and, and I want to uh, we want to lay this out. That has never happened, am I right, mm -hmm. Brett? Even with Kimberly four. football, when they were winning all those yeah. games, we never had more than three players, you know, nominated. Mm -hmm. They deserve it. So yeah, so but you ladies, I, I think you ladies deserve please, a round of applause. Please here get on in that. your RSVPs right away. Please here you go, Brett. don't stress me out because I yeah. have to chase. Yeah. All yeah. He wants everyone yes. to reserve their so place. So please do that tonight. Okay, good stuff. Exactly. All right, well, let's do some promos here, quick. All right, gotta pay the bills. Gotta take a thirty second here timeout, or actually a half. Time out here. Uh, the Packers show. We've talked about this every every week. Late August is it, we're going into our tenth season, Brad. Eleventh. Eleventh season. So I'm taking Aaron Rodgers as your favorite player. You gave him a big hug. Is that yes. Been on our show a couple times. Libby, who's your favorite Packer player? I used to like Raji, but he's not there anymore. So. Oh, BJ. Was BJ Raji nope. ever on our show? No. no. Oh, we love BJ. No, Rogers. I'm a Rodgers guy. Rodgers, okay, but yeah, but <laughs> favorite. <laughs> right. He's and, my guy. <laughs> okay, there you go. And uh, anyway, yeah. So. Uh, the, Again, the uh, Clubhouse Live Packers show, best show around, award-winning show, starts up late August. We can't announce who our co-host is going to no. be, but we have a very specific player in mind. It's a pretty prominent He's player. He's a pretty prominent player, so you're going to want to see that. So you want to come down and watch. It's free. Everyone's invited every Monday, 6.30 p.m. during the, the football season, so please all come on down. You ladies knew about the podcast. I was so happy. Yes. The R&B show, Ricardo and Brett, get it? We're so slick. Uh, the podcast comes on every about, about 12 o'clock every Wednesday afternoon, and then you can follow it, though, if you subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play, so look for R&B Show, and that's where you find it. We talked about you ladies at length, and we'll talk about you more next week, because you ladies brought the food. I have to now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so that's great stuff. So please follow only podcast dedicated to high school sports. Twitter. You both are on Twitter. And um, what I want you to do is give out your Twitter account. If you want to, Libby, go ahead. Um, you can look at Molly for that. I think it's Libby underscore nephew. <laughs> okay. All right. Not active. Okay. <laughs> Not active. okay. Sid? Sydney underscore Supley, and you can follow me. Okay, and I'm at PC Ricardo. Brett's at PC Brett. See, don't forget about Rosie at Metal Rosie. Molly, did you want to give out yes, yours? Go ahead, flip that camera around. <laughs> Say it loud and proud. Uh, at Molly Bittner. 
There you go. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, you know, Twitter's my favorite thing. Can't wait to cover you ladies when you're down, because I'm going to be down there at Camp, uh, not Camp Rando, in Madison mm -hmm. at uh, Goodman Diamond. Yes. So I would hope to see you ladies there. Uh, High School Sports Award Show, we just kind of talked about this. Brett, where can they purchase those tickets? This coming up Wednesday. It's two uh, weeks from now. Yeah, two weeks from today, and there's a lot to do. But sportsawards.wisconsinmedia.com is where you can go to find tickets. And again, RSVPs, ladies. Yes, yes. RSVPs. Yes. And don't Tonight. forget, dress to impress. Me and Vrill will be in tuxes. We expect mm. maybe not tuxes this year. Oh, we'll be we'll be doing tuxes. Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, but yeah, but please check that out Wednesday, uh, May eighth. So please check that out. It's right over here at the Performing Arts Center now. So it's a theater type setting. It could be much more cooler more in my spacious. opinion. More spacious. More spacious. You guys will have room. So that'll be great. And uh, shout outs. End of the show. Remember what you did last year. Don't forget anybody. That kind of stuff. And then Molly, that you're gonna be part of that as well. Okay. Sure. Good. All right. Here we go. Second half. Yeah. Toughest competitor you've had to face. I know we may have asked this question last year. Has that changed? Who comes to mind quick, Libby? When you're talking, you can't say Sid. It's got to be oh, another. Oh. It's got to be an, <laughs> a, 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 a <laughs> other other pitcher outside okay. of Sid. Um, I've said it for a while, but Haley Hestigan. Okay, yeah, with the Badgers. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. For you, Sid, tough hitter. Who, uh, who, who comes to mind? For hitter and pitcher, you can give me both. Ooh, uh, I'd say pitcher. We face Sloan. She's going to Kentucky. We placed Ooh. her down in okay. Illinois, okay. so that she was really tough. And the pitcher we placed in Florida. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Interesting stuff. Nobody around here. It's easy around here. No, yeah. You have something else, Brooke? Yeah, I'm supposed to ask Brooke if she likes corn. <laughs> Where is it from? Corn. It it's yeah. from corn. Well, do you like corn? <laughs> they said every question was on the table. Right? They said every question was on the table. They did say that. All right, interesting Maybe it was stuff. an inside joke there. Yeah, okay. So, Brett, do you have something else? Uh, this is from Mel from Kimberly, uh, what is one thing you are going to miss about Brooke Ellistead? Uh, Whoa, say that one more time? Like for us, what are we missing? Yeah. Yeah, what do you miss about Brooke? Yeah. But it's from Mel from Kimberly. Mel you know from Kimberly. Mel from Kimberly? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to miss um, following her up because she's pretty fun to follow, watching her get hit after hit. But yeah. most of all, I'm going to miss the type of person she is. Yeah. She keeps it really laid back, keeps it fun, and I enjoy being teammates with her. Get her on it, Molly. You make sure you get on it. She needs to be more <laughs> red. Okay, how about for you, Libby? Uh, I'm going to miss playing next to her in the infield for sure. Okay. No, she's wide range, so okay. <laughs> I don't need to worry about a lot. Okay, And good then, stuff. of course, just her personality and everything, just having a good friend around. Okay, good. So, you know, we're talking about the team here real quick. I actually didn't have this question on here. But I did want to know, and I don't know if we talked about this last year, Sid and Libby, but do we have, like, girls who fit, like, the, the, the who, who's the, the comedian on the team? Who's way too serious? Who needs to, who needs to like, real, real, who's a cut-up? Like, who's a comedian? What did I ask about that? Who's the best dancer? Who's the best singer? Do we have anybody in those slots, in those roles? I feel, uh, I feel like Sid and I are like the team moms. So for, okay. For sure. All right. I like okay. me with the grandma. <laughs> okay. We're the ones going to bed early on team you know. nights. Okay. But uh, we definitely have a lot of, yeah. yeah, we have a lot of comedians on the team. Molly Bittner. Uh, Molly, yeah. Hey, for sure, Emma Phillips, Mackenzie Lang. So we have a lot of personality. Our team is very lively. Yeah. yeah all the way what around. about the dancing? Who, 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 who? You can catch a lot of our girls dancing during yeah, practice. Yeah, Brooke. Brooke. Kenzie always has a little, <laughs> <laughs> a little something. Interesting. Yeah. We all like to sing, though. Not uh, very good. So but. not well, but is there one girl who really kind of sings well? You guys are like. <laughs> Sophie's like, like she knows every lyric to every yeah. song. Wow, that's pretty. That's a good. Yeah. We're practicing for the national anthem, one of our games. Oh, yeah. that would be great. <laughs> that sounds to me like something you should retweet on Twitter for me. Yes. Brooke has a good voice that? too. Do you, Brooke? Yeah. Yeah. She looks stunned. She's an eighth that. grade choir star. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Brett, you have something from online? Yeah, interesting softball question here. Stucco guy says, would you consider consider yourselves just a home run hitting team? <laughs> or well, you have 27. Mm -hmm. So it seems like you ladies are a power. These, these ladies are like the murderer's role. I'm guessing they can do a little bit more offensively. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, what you guys haven't had to because they're hitting it out of the park. But do you consider yourself? You consider yourselves multifaceted, right? You mm -hmm. can yeah, do a lot I mean, we have a lot of power, but we also have like a good mix. Like Emily can always lay down that bunt, so can okay. Higgs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Run it out. So we have a good balance of everything. Sit. I would agree. I think a lot of our home runs do have been line shots. Oh. So I yeah. think we're definitely just a team that barrels up on the ball and hits it hard. You know, if it goes out, it goes out. But we also hit our doubles and our singles. So we do a good job. Not a lot of strikeouts. We hit the balls in play all the time against yes, us. Yes, very important. By the way. Weather's heating up, so that means more are going to be flying out. Right? Oh, what yes. What you think? Okay. Mm -hmm. Brett, do you have something else? Yeah, corn is back, and I'm supposed to say that the question is from Bert. Bert. Oh, is that your she brother? She will understand. Brett, this is my brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> it says Bert. 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 Okay, Bert. he was asking if you liked corn. 
<laughs> okay, all right. All right. Anyway, okay, Brett, do you have something else? Tegan uh, wants to know what's the most exciting play to make in a game? Most exciting play to make in a game? Strike three. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right away so, from Sid. For you? Well, being like third, probably just like a good diving catcher. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, Taking a girl out, maybe. Whoa, yeah. I like this. Yeah. It's hard take, too. Wow, yeah. Yeah, good hard take. Okay. <laughs> knocking, yeah, them, no. knocking them down. Yeah. Right in the face. That's right. <laughs> okay, all right. That's, a little, that's, that's very graphic. All right, but cool, interesting. You have something else, BC? Yeah, Old North is GOAT wants to know, how much work do you guys put in during the off-season and outside of practice? Yeah, so talk about that. People always see what you do on the field. They never see the hard work you put in. So, uh, Sid, do you have something in mind? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can find Libby and I and a few other of us at Jet Function Fitness, which <laughs> Jet Strong. Jet Strong. <laughs> okay, but we, we're there every morning, like 5.30 a.m., so we put in a lot of work outside of season. Oh, I think I know where that is, actually. Is that, is that the one way out on the highway? Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, I know where that is. <laughs> yeah, but I think you can find our team even after practice. People are always wanting more at bats. We're always okay. going over to the cages before school. So okay. our team is just really, we work hard all the time, and it, we're never satisfied. We always want to be better. And do that mm -hmm. again, the Jet Functional Fitness. What's that? What's the little thing Ready? you do? There's a little shout out for Jeff, our yeah. trainer. Okay, let's see it. Oh. <laughs> Jet Strong. There we go. All right. Maybe a potential sponsor. Potential right? yes. sponsor. We look at everything. Okay, good stuff. Brett, you have something else? Yeah, I got one more here from Lauren Ray. Uh, Lauren Ray. What is the most encouraging thing someone can say to you when you're playing? Ooh, okay, yeah. Encouraging. Um, I think, like, I got your back yeah. is always a good okay. pick me up or. Just like a, a reassurance. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Sid? I would say like leave it all on the field. Okay. You know, no matter what side, okay. hitting or just pitching, just leave it all out there. Outstanding. Molly Cam. Oh, Molly was over there just <laughs> chilling. Yeah. There you go. All right, good stuff. Again, that's Molly Bittner on Molly Cam. We thank you so much for that, Molly. Brett, do you have something else? Or I'm just going to uh, I just have a request. To don't forget about our sponsor. Uh, in the oh, yeah, club. you're right. Yeah, let me do that right now because I always forget this. I don't mean to Community First Credit Union, you know we love you, but when you bring <laughs> your deposits to Community First, your money becomes a source of great good for you and your community. Find Community First Credit Union online at communityfirstcu.org. Thank you so much, Community First. <laughs> and uh, Rosie, can you get it on uh, Brett's, uh, his uh, USA Today Network Wisconsin logo? Yes, that's with oh, Silly, Molly Silly yeah, Toast. Molly, sure. get it on him, Zoom please. Yeah. Silly Toast is our apparel sponsor that Brett is wearing so nicely. Thank you so much. We thank you, Silly Toast, as well. Um, Brett, did you have something quick? I, I have go one to from Shay Thal. <gasps> okay. She was Shay Cam last year. Oh, yeah. well, that's great. Well, okay, here's what fantastic. Shay has to say. So proud to see the amazing things the team is doing this season. Love you guys and miss being on the field with you every day. That's adorable. Aww. That is fantastic. Well, thank you for checking in. Yeah, we really appreciate good. that. Now listen, <laughs> I may have asked this last year, but have, thing, have things changed with the rituals and superstitions? You're saying you're nodding yes? Yeah. So what do you do? I want to know a personal things. I'm the team, if you guys have something team-wise that mm -hmm. you do, mention um, I think we have a lot of things. One thing is our team does not change partners. We have the same partners every practice, oh, before every game. Okay. So we're pretty, you know, repetitive on that. Right. Uh, we got rid of Eye Black. So a few of us have like the same hairstyles and we put our bags in the same places. Yeah. But there's all like little unsaid things. Okay, interesting. I like mm -hmm. this. Do you have anything to add? Hairstyles are something we do, I feel like. At one point, one of our games, there's like this bat in a certain position. <laughs> and we had, we had, I don't know the whole story, but we had to leave it there because we were hitting really well. <laughs> so we're oh. like, we had like a two out rally and it was amazing, but we had to leave the bat there. It was, I think it was your bat. Was your now bat. that yeah. was just during a specific game? Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's cool. All right, interesting. did it work? Hmm? Yeah, we scored seven runs on two outs. So it worked? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's as good as any. Good stuff. Brett, did you have something else? We're done. Oh, we are. Okay. Well, here's, here's my next question. Next step in college. Let's talk about your future. Uh, Northwestern, right, for you. Yes. Said, Libby, did you decide on something? Winona State. Winona State. Okay. I love Winona State. All right. Good. So let's start there, start there with Libby. Why, why Winona State? Why did, why did that make sense for you? Uh, well, I'll be playing softball, so I just love mm -hmm. the coaches and the whole okay. atmosphere there. And then I love just the environment of Winona. Okay. It's very outdoorsy with the yes. lakes around, which is like it's right beautiful. up my alley. Beautiful. Yeah. There, and they huh? have a good like medical program, which okay. I'm interested and that's, in. And that's what you're going in? Um, Pre-med. Pre yeah. Wow. Okay. Awesome. And how about for you? Uh, I absolutely love the coaching staff and the players yes. that are there now I've been playing with in summer ball. And, mm -hmm. you know, they really believe that they'd be on the rise. And right now they are. They're the last undefeated team in the Big Ten. So I'm really excited to go there. And okay. just I really uh, value my education and what I want to study there as well. And what was that again? You Broadcast journalism. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Hey, 
kind of what we do, right, Brett? Yes. Uh, you'll be way better at it than, than we are. Uh, but hey, you know what? I want to get Molly. Are you looking to play at the next level? We can talk about you for a little bit. Turn it on yourself, though. <laughs> you got to talk loud, too, Molly. Um, what? <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure if I want to play at the next level yet. Okay. Or not. But are you going to college somewhere? Or you got uh, yeah. I'm not sure where yet. Okay. Or right, you got time. No need to put pressure on you. Thank you, Molly. Get Molly Camp doing a great job. Doing that. Okay, Brett, we, we're, we're done with our questions. You have something last? Well, there's I'm a weird question here from Team Uber Driver, and it says, how do you feel when the girl in front of you is intentionally walked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sounds like, <laughs> well. Did that happen recently? Okay. Well, I've kind of been walked quite a few times this okay. year, but Libby usually follows mm. up at the home run, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when it's going to stop. Yeah. yeah. And then I got Soph behind me, so. Yeah. They haven't figured it out, right? Yes. So either way, they're, either way, they're in trouble. Our lineups. Uh, walks. Deadly, yeah. Later. Just walk, walk everybody. everybody. Yeah. That's what I would do. <laughs> wow. All right. Interesting stuff. Okay. Uh, we talked about the college thing, but now it's time for shout outs. This is Molly, where I'm going to need you as well. So you want to look at Molly's camera. <laughs> I'll start farthest over to my right. So go ahead and get, send some love out to people who got you where you are today. Okay, I have a list. okay. She has a list. All right. <laughs> shout out to my cousin Owen, who we raised money for last night. Yes. And if you want to donate, contact my Twitter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Shout out to Corey Kennedy, who yes. we've been watching a lot of her videos. You know, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Okay. <laughs> um, Grandpa Ray, the man. <laughs> and Deb Nev, you know, first team all state concessions. So, uh, and then we have, we share one. Mr. Roth. Best announcer yes. in the game, for sure. Mm -hmm. And okay, my parents, ahead. my grandparents, and my niece and nephew watching, I love you both. Oh, interesting stuff. Keep it on me, Molly. <laughs> my my shout goes out to uh, uh, Heidi Supley. Yes. Did you see that bag of food she got me? <laughs> well, us. We'll yes. see about that. But look at this bag of food. And I'm going to enjoy this very much. And I'm going to have a nice food baby. So thank you so much, Mrs. Supley. Appreciate that. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Oh, and you guys. Do you have something else? Well, last second question. I don't know if we actually asked, asked this one, but who does have the most home runs right now on the team? Oh, yeah. I don't know, actually. We're tied, We're tied with nine. Tied with nine. So we, God, yeah. you guys are like crazy. They, they, that's a lot. <laughs> we should like do a McGuire back in the day. Them, okay. What was that? We should yeah, do okay. a fun like. I couldn't even get it over the plate. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I couldn't even be able. Well, that's the only way you wouldn't hit me because I couldn't get it over the plate. <laughs> but interesting stuff. Uh, okay, yeah. Last thing. Uh, and, and look, we're not even close to the postseason yet, though it is kind of coming up shortly. But you know. Let's be honest. You ladies have that focus and intensity. I know you don't want to repeat what happened last year. <laughs> I'm going to be at Goodman Diamond because um, I'll be covering a whole bunch of teams down there, and I'm thinking I'm going to be covering you ladies. Let's, let's say you ladies make it down there. What, what, what are the keys? What, what, what do you ladies have to keep on doing right for you ladies to, to really kind of bring home the championship mm -hmm. throwback and feel like and sense it with that this is something you guys really want so bad? Mm -hmm. Libby, what, what are some things that have to happen for that? Uh, we definitely have to do our little things because the little things make the big things happen. And I think just like keeping the energy up throughout our lineup because then okay. – um, it's kind of like a chain reaction. Once one hits, we all hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Sid? Yeah, I would say definitely like trusting each other and ourselves because no matter what situation we are, we can arise above it. You know, if we get down or no matter what, our mm -hmm. team is strong enough to always rally together. And just knowing that and believing that this is possible, that we're able to go all the way, will be key. Outstanding. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to thank again for uh, Libby Nevue, Sid Supley, and don't forget about mm -hmm. Molly Cam. You did a great job. Let's give her some love. <laughs> You gotta put it on yourself one more time. Yes, one more time. There we go. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Molly Bittner, for, for doing a great job. And all the ladies for coming here. You guys did a great job again. Thank you so much for the entire Oshkosh North softball team. Uh, I'm sure I'll be covering you ladies a lot coming the postseason and uh, hopefully down at Goodman Diamond. So thank you so much. I know you ladies are earning A's and everything, right? Yes. So got you away from your schoolwork. Everybody's doing well. All right, Brennan, we didn't have anything else? We're done. Nothing else. All right, thank you so much. Great participation, by the way, from Oshkosh North community. And we knew we were going to get that. So thank you again. Again, so for Libby, for Sid, for Molly, and for the entire Oshkosh North softball team, thank you so much for another great episode of the Roundtable. Again, check us out next week, Brett. We have one more show before the big uh, high school sports awards show. Might have some track series on here, maybe some golfers. Best place to find out, facebook.com slash postcrescent. Until then, everyone have a great time, and we'll see you back here next week for another episode of the Varsity Roundtable. There we go. Mm -hmm. Keep going.
I was born in Manitowoc County, and this is my home. We do our Bank Connect community first. The Community First branch in De Pere found a way to save me $250 a month. Community First saved me about $5,000 on a car loan. We came in for a car loan and ended up saving $790 a month because they did some extra homework. With the money I saved, I'm able to keep a roof over my kid's head. If you're driven to get a more affordable car loan or any other loan that'll save you money, we'll find a way.